Cairo did this. What's up, YouTube? Thank you all for tuning in. I am the Cairo. Today, we're going to talk about the steps that I took in order to get my MPC expansions over into the machine of software. It's crazy how when I talk, I always use my hands and stuff, huh? I don't know. It makes me feel like I'm important or something or helps me express my words more. So please don't get irritated with it. It's just how I talk. But anyway, like I say, we're going to do that. Going to walk you through the steps on how I, you know, did this process. There may be other ways to do so, but this is the steps that I took. And all I did was wanted to get the, the various programs that I had out of some of the expansion kits that I had and just bring them over. I didn't do it to create groups within the machine of software. I might go back and do it later, but for now, I just wanted to do something to, like I said, have those expansion kits over in the machine of software. So let's get started. All right, so here's what I did. So I took a kit like Raw Cuts and I wanted to put it in the Machina software, but in a way where if I if I scroll through the, the folders and subfolders of this kit, I'll be able to at least find all the programs that were set up. Now I will tell you that you can go deeper and place each sound uh, within Machina on pads in the machine of software but i didn't want to do that because like i said i have the option to go through all the subfolders but just want to give you time to look at this real quick and then we're going to hop over to machine so i can show you what, exactly what i did all right so let's bounce over so going into the machine of software you'll see i have raw cuts up uh i have the multi hits kit up but I'm going to switch it over so you can see the hip hop kits. And then I'm going to change the sub. And then you'll see all the options there for the sub folders. And I'm doing everything on the hardware so that's why you don't see the mouse moving. And like I said, I'm going to bounce back over to the, the multi kit or multi hip hop kits as they're called. And then go into the sub folders and you'll see me changing each one of those as well. All right, so hopping back over to the MPC software, we're going to use one of the kits that I created. I already have this set up in Machina right now, but I'm going to walk you through the steps. I'm going to um, reintroduce it into Machina as well. But let's just go ahead and get started. So what I do is I'll load through drag and drop one of the programs. Okay, and then all the sounds are going to load up onto the pads here. Uh, we don't really have to worry about that because, like I said, this is not something I'm going to do in Machina. But if you want to um, memorize the layout that you had, of course, I would say use a phone or something to just take a picture of that so you'll know the layout once you decide to dump it and create groups within the Machina software. But this is all that I'm worried about here. All right, and this is what I'm going to focus on. So now we have all the sounds loaded up. And so all I'll do is just go and hit save all programs. Or you can do save current program. I just choose to do all programs. Okay. And then I want to save it to my desktop and I'm going to name it. It's called the vi uh, a villain. So I'm going to call it a villain. Uh, I got a typo here. Hang on a second. I'm trying to go too fast. All right. And then just going to save it. All right, and then go and hit undo to clear it out and let's bring another one in. And so the video don't have to be long. Let's just do two for now. Just to give you guys the, you know, the basic idea of how I get it done. OK, so we got all those sounds loaded up and I'm going to go ahead and um, save those. Save all programs, choose desktop name it this one is called better man okay so hopping over onto the desktop you'll see that the two folders that we have created are right here so what i'm going to do is like i showed you in the last video i did we're going to combine these as a new folder and we're going to name this uh inside my lane volume one all right, and then that's what we're gonna do there. All right, so now we back at the Machina software. So now what we're gonna do is go under to uh, the Machina preferences, and we're gonna go into library, 
and we're going to go under user and then we're going to select to add and what we're doing is adding a new folder so to keep it easy we did this one on the desktop and there's that folder there so we're going to choose it we're going to find it up here and what i like to do is just name it so let's i'll just do something short let's just call it test all right and then we're going to scan it all right so it's been scanned we can close this out and then um i'll just do it on here so you guys can see where i'm going and then there's that expansion there and all the sounds are loaded up and then what we could do uh, let me go into the different banks for it so that's the villain I'm on the hardware again sorry so this is villain and this is better man and that's pretty much it so hopefully you guys found this video useful drop some comments let me know in addition to that like I said go back and watch that video on how I organize my sound library in case in case you want to put the images on there another thing I also mentioned about loading the sounds up on the pads and creating groups it's not something that I wanted to do in this video because it does take a while but I do have the group set up on my inside my lane expansion kit that I do have in the machine of software so it's possible and hopefully you guys know how to do that and if not like I said leave me some comments I'll go back and create a, a video on how I did that uh, but other than that I thank y'all for tuning in once again thank you guys for viewing thank you guys for subscribing I am the Cairo plug in get connected we are TMR the Cairo did this